railway authorities and operators around the world are experiencing increasing demands for more efficient train operation, increased capacity, punctuality and reduced costs. Kato is a groundbreaking IT product helping them to meet these demands. Carto is a comprehensive traffic management and driver assistance system which brings essential improvements to all types of rail operations. Here in the north of Sweden, El Quabe has installed Carto on the Iron Line. Carto consists of two parts. Carto train on board each train and Kato TCC at the Traffic Control Center. These units communicate. The actual operating schedule is communicated to the trains. Genom att eh, lokförarna kan ta del av min planering, vart jag tänkt ta möten och om de ska få längre uppehåll så kan tågen anpassa hastighet efter vad jag planerar och då blir det mindre start och stopp och de kommer i rätt tid och slipper stanna tågen och det sparar en hel del energi. How does Kato improve efficiency of traffic management and driving? Vi får uh, punktlighet upp på tågen i och med att vi kan planlägga. Vi vet hela vägen mm. hur station vi möter den på. Now, let's have a closer look at the driver's display. In this picture, you see a train running downhill and approaching the station Steinbacken. The front of the train is at the 1475 km mark plus 416 meters. The dispatcher has set the arrival to 1335, but Carto has calculated the arrival to be 1337 and is giving the advice that the train shall run as fast as possible. The timing was known already when the train left the previous station. Carto informed the dispatcher about the delay, but the dispatcher has not changed the plan. The black curve is the speed profile advice by Carto. The grey curve shows how the driver has been driving. At the moment he is driving a little bit slower than the advice. Now let's follow the run. The film sequence will of course be much quicker than reality. The train stopped as calculated. In this case, in fact as in most cases, within plus or minus 10 seconds from the calculated arrival. The optimum speed profile to the next stop is now shown on the screen. The next run to Rainshern is scheduled to take 40 minutes, which is 16 minutes longer than the shortest possible run. This means that the planned run allows Carto to make good use of the topography in order to minimize energy consumption. In this case, the train will save approximately 25%, as shown on the screen. Now let's take a short look on a situation where two other trains are planned to cross at Steinbacken. Train 9911 to the left is southbound. It is planned to stop at the station. The dispatcher has planned the arrival to be 1534. In fact, the train is running a little bit late and arrival is calculated to be 1535. Train 9916 to the right is northbound. It shall pass the station but must not arrive to the pre-signal for the station entry before 1537, i.e. three minutes after the arrival of 9911, the stopping train. Carto has calculated the optimal passing time based on the arrival and departure times set by the dispatcher for train 9911. Now let's follow the trains for a few minutes. As before, the film is running much faster than reality. The southbound train has now stopped. The northbound train is running exactly on time. As soon as it has entered the station, the southbound train gets a green signal and continues its journey. The crossing has been very efficient. Train 9911 had a minimum length of the stop and train 9916 could pass without any speed restrictions. The infrastructure capacity could be used at maximum. Vi räknar med att kunna spara ungefär 20 procent av energikostnaden och i dagsläget så betalar vi ungefär 60 miljoner kronor i elkostnad för framdriften av mantågen. 
Sen tror vi också att det kommer att ha stor betydelse på punktligheten på tågen. Genom det här systemet så kommer vi att kunna optimera möten, minska ja, antal stopp och sånt där. Och det tror vi har stor betydelse för kapaciteten. The Norwegian State Rail, NSB, has looked at Kato in the search to meet the demands for higher punctuality. Kato kan hjälpa oss med att få bättre punktlighet via att ge oss mer relevant och viktig information i samtid till lokföraren. NSB have decided to use ERTMS. Isn't that enough? Nej, det är faktiskt inte det. För det att ERTMS ger oss information om signalbilder, men det hjälper oss inte att ge den nöjaktighet som vi tränger för att åka köra punktligt. Där hjälper Kato oss via att det optimerar hur vi kan köra tågtrafiken. In parallel with Transrail's installation of Carto on El Quabe, the system has also been installed on the Arlanda Express, the high-speed airport shuttle in Stockholm. What advantages did Arlanda Express see in Carto? Well, from the very beginning, Arlanda Express has always had a very high environmental profile and we have always been searching for new ways to develop this environmental profile. And for that reason, we of course wanted to look into the Kato solution. I think that it has brought us further in our development as being the leading transportation company in Sweden, looking at it from an environmental perspective. I think it's more efficient to drive with Kato because you can see in the future the trains up ahead and drive more smoothly and uh, more efficiently by energy and wear and tear on the train. You have to adapt and you have to uh, take notice of the curves in the, in the, in the tracks. It's a, it's a challenge, it's a fun challenge actually. In 2012, Transrail was awarded with UIC's Sustainable Development Award for the design and development of Carto. Carto will reduce energy consumption, it will reduce wear of the vehicles and infrastructure, and it will increase the traffic capacity of the infrastructure. By connecting, dispatching and driving, Carto brings a new era into railway traffic operation. Trains will arrive on time and on a green wave.